Hello, and welcome to a very special Easter episode. Uh, I'm here in my Easter outfit right here to summon the Easter Bunny, and hopefully uh, he'll leave eggs or something around my door. I, I forget how this works. Uh, but anyway, uh, the Lego guys definitely bust me with something outside my door, and that's a new Lego set just in time for the season. I really thought these things would arrive after the fact, and uh, I would have to wait a whole year to share them with you. That would be quite annoying, wouldn't it? It's happened before. Um, but anyway, enough sidetrack. Let's get on with it. It's set 40449, the Easter Bunny Carrot House. Uh, something that I was really excited to see on the limited edition uh, sets for the season. Basically, it's a little carrot house um, that's sort of modular and has a little egg, just like usual. Uh, but yeah, so uh, enough faffing about. Let's take a look at the thing. All right, without further ado, here's the Easter Bunny in our awesome carrot house. Uh, I'd like to point out that this Easter Bunny did not come with this set per se. It came with set 853990, what I like to call the Easter Bunny's excellent adventure. Uh, it came with the Easter Bunny, this chicken coop, and this excellent scooter. Um, really kind of a fun little set, but it was kind of lacking something. It was just a little kind of gifty thing, very cheap. Uh, but I'm glad they decided to continue on with the theme of uh, what are, where does the Easter Bunny go on her off time? Where does she go to uh, relax? You know, and so here's she, here's her little house, a little fun, uh, fun little carrot house. <laughs> I'm not really sure if it's supposed to be edible or just a just a fake facade like they do with those uh, you know little ice cream hut uh, vendors and whatever. So anyway, off to the side, we see that this set uses a, quite a lot of stickers on the outside to uh, drive home the point that this is a massive carrot that has shutters on the side and just uh, an overly Overly large bunny emblem on the front door. I really, I really find that too adorable. Uh, I really enjoy the fact that they've been adding stickers to doors as of late. Um, kind of funny. Uh, the only other one I can s remember seeing is a uh, one that covers the entire door and I don't know, kind of a pain to fit on. But this one doesn't really matter if you get it on crooked because you know what? It's uh, small enough where it doesn't really matter overall. Uh, anyway, uh, continuing on with the Easter theme, we have some excellent f uh, flowers over here. Not really sure what's going on. Either they're flowers or eggs, or maybe they're both. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, so the graphic designer had a lot of fun with the variety of things going on here. I'll point out a few of them on the inside. But here we have uh, the O here actually has some bunny ears, as well as on the inside, uh, there's quite a few family photographs here. Uh, so I'm not really sure if the Easter Bunny is actually a bunny or if he's just a guy in a suit. <coughs> oh no, spoilers, sorry. Uh, but yeah, there's quite a lot of bunny-related uh, family photographs, so it's really thrown my uh, interpretation into a skew. Uh, but yeah, some more car carrot uh, designs up there at the top, and there's an egg excellent okay i'll stop there's an egg shaped uh, vanity mirror um, as well as a an awesome uh easter themed carpet right there that you can barely see oh well but yeah so the whole thing itself was built on the idea of snot we're basically uh studs not on top there's a bunch of there we go uh there was a bunch of uh studs that are on the sides of various bricks that help hold on a facade side so here we go on the side here is basically built held up by a bunch of a bunch of them on the bottom and just simply a row that attaches around here uh, and this build is really quite interesting I, I thought the the windows themselves would be more recessed and kind of in here rather than on this facade so there was a little bit of a flat building and then uh, side building that went on very interesting very unique build and I don't know, I would recommend it uh, to give it to somebody. Either they can add it to their uh, overall collection or they can, uh, uh, you know, convert it into something that they can put in their Lego city. Maybe uh, like a uh, like a vegetable vendor or something. Something that they would be able to just add a uh, counter to the front here and have some guy in there in a weird bunny suit uh, selling carrots all day. You know, I can see all kinds of potential here. In fact, I may just do that. Uh, but yeah, so I hope you all had an excellent uh, Easter. And um, until next time, uh, bye.